Thank you for watching. I'm the plumbing professor. I want to talk to you about a basic home setup and why the most important thing is controlling the water, the groundwater that hits your home. Mother Nature's water. Standard home, most all homes would have a gutter. Would have a downspout. Would have then a conductor, which would conduct the water. These are pipes that are entering the ground. And these pipes would come together. And this would make your storm sewer. Now, there is one additional item that some houses have, not all do, would be a sump pump. The sump pump would be a system that's in the basement, and it would be pumping the water up and into the conductor. And this water would also travel out to the main utility, which would be out in the street or uh, a pond or a road ditch, and this is where the water would empty out. So the water would flow and would empty out into the storm sewer. Sounds simple, and it is. But if it's not done correctly, it's a huge expense, causes a lot of damage to the foundation of the home. So with your basement wall and your foundation, this water that's being collected by the sump pump comes in down the foundation wall, under, and into the drain tile. So your drain tile would be along the basement footer, which would be the, where the wall meets the floor, and come in to the sump pit. Now, two ways very simply. When it's downpouring, you make sure that that water is coming flowing into the sump pit. If you're getting hydrostatic pressure between the wall and the floor, then that's another issue where you need to address maybe cleaning the drain tiles or having the drain tiles inspected or replacing them. This water, very simple. You make sure the gutters are clean so no debris clogs up this downspout. Then that water trickles down and you make sure that not just washing the stuff down into the conductor, make sure you're removing that into buckets and, and disposing of it properly. And then you could hose test these, or if you need to vacuum them out, whatever you need to do is keep the conductors clean, and this conductor will come down to the road. It could be a ditch in the road. In the city, you would have like a, a curbside storm sewer. Um, most of our municipalities have a curb, what they call a drain tile, or a street tile, and it's under drain under the curb. And that's where you want the water to go. Now there's one part of the system very confusing to everyone. It is called a bubbler. The bubbler is basically designed to bubble. Now the bubbler is usually right at the curb or if an orchard park it's 10 feet back. And this would be a thing where people say, oh, it's bubbling over. Well, that's not the correct operation of what it's supposed to do. It's only supposed to bubble over two factors. If between the bubbler and the street get plugged or the street and storm sewer cannot take any more water. That at least bubbles over the curb into the street and keeps the water away from the foundation, which is our number one goal. We need to transportate that water. So they call this a bubbler line. Thank you so much for watching for the basic setup of storm sewer for residential homes.